you hear people say anything's possible, but if you don't see it sometimes, it doesn't feel real to you. And if you just spend two minutes with Adriana, you'll know that anything is possible. Growing up, I was very dependent on people. But just because I had a disability, it didn't mean that I couldn't do the things that typical children could do. I would just have to do it differently. She's always had the motivation to do things that probably everyone didn't think she could do. I majored in computer science because that was what I was good at. And that was something I could do myself. The hackathon is really about finding people that live or identify as living with a disability. We match them up with students in tech or in engineering to try to work together with them to identify potential solutions. I wanted the freedom that everyone else had to use their phone and a computer. And they really paid attention to my knowledge to create this thing that I had in my head for a really long time. So that was a puffin. I said, well, I want to keep going with this. I want this. The Puffin really creates an easier interface with all of the devices that someone has to use. And I'm like, there has to be a way to make it better. So that's how we're doing. <laughs> She's put together this free-flowing company where people come in and out, and they just keep moving the product forward. This is our latest prototype. It's connected to my phone. The left click is the bite, and the right click is the hover. So I like to order from Starbucks often. But when you can do more things on your own, you take control of your life. I think people with disabilities especially want that because sometimes their control of their lives have been taken away from them. Uh, I was in a car accident in 2002. That was the end of everything I knew prior in terms of being able to do things on my own and being able to be independent. I honestly, at that time, thought that I wouldn't be able to come back to a sense of normalcy, a sense of, of doing things like I used to do it. Their life has drastically changed in the blink of an eye. But if they have access to their cell phone and computer, they can pretty much do anything. So the Puffin allows me to open the garage door so I can get into my house. It allows me to turn on the computer once I'm in my house. It allows me to then turn on the phone and make a phone call. It basically allows me to have a normal day and, and forget about my disability for a little while. Oh, to yeah. think that you and the team of students I just know. like brainstorming over here and this thing has become a product. I feel like this is my baby and it was finally born. <laughs> I love I'm a really big advocate for inclusion, and I really believe that it's the best way, both for people with disabilities and without, to kind of learn that differences are okay. I want her to be recognized as the pioneer that she is, because she is changing the disability community. Our goal is to be ahead of the game. We want it to work with smart cities or drive an automated car because we know that will give us a whole new found freedom. Come on, Adriana, go! She's overcome serious challenges, but she doesn't let it bring her down. So there is no doubt in my mind of how successful she will be. What I would say to someone who thinks maybe they have a crazy idea stay the course. <laughs> um, if it's something that you truly believe in and, and have a passion for, then it definitely is not impossible. <laughs>